So is the iPad Pro worth it for an engineering student? Let's find out in this video. Hi, I'm Armand, and I make tech videos every week regarding the tech that I use on a daily basis. I am a former mechanical engineering student. I have now graduated, and last year I started this YouTube channel where I started talking about how I use the iPad as an engineering student and have evolved into more videos. If that sounds like something you're interested in, then make sure you subscribe and like the video so we can help spread the word of this channel. Now, if you also want to know whether you should get an iPad over a laptop or a laptop over an iPad, make sure you have the bell notifications turned on because that's going to be the next video after this. This one. So go ahead and stay tuned, listen to this full video, and then you can go over to that video next. If you're trying to decide whether you're going to be buying the iPad for college and as an engineering student or any type of college student, the first thing that's going to come to mind is taking notes. And that is going to be the biggest basically advantage you're going to get with the iPad or iPad Pro. It doesn't matter what iPad you get, at the end of the day, they all do the same thing. And especially when it comes to notes. When it comes to the note taking, you can use different applications like the Stock Notes app built into iOS. OneNote one note made by Microsoft, as well as the two bigger ones known as Notability and GoodNotes. I've used both of those, and if you want to see a comparison, check out the videos on my channel. Now, the reason why taking notes on the iPad is just so good is because you can organize the notes however you want. If you mess up, you can fix it easily. You can move things around super easily, whereas before you had to erase and rewrite. This, you can just basically drag like a little selector tool and select what paragraphs or what sections or what diagrams you want to move and just move those around freely without you know having to rewrite your notes and all of that pain. And this saves a whole bunch of time when you're taking notes during lecture. And we all know there's always those really fast professors. This gives you the time and the flexibility to do that without basically falling behind in your lecture. Now, when it comes to colors and taking your notes, it's going to be a lot easier on the iPad. You no longer have to carry around all these different pens and markers and highlighters. Everything is built in because you just use your Apple Pencil and everything else is digital. That is like the biggest thing. I was never a color coder with my notes, but because the iPad had everything without me needing to buy a whole bunch of different markers and carry them around all the time, I was able to do it and it just kind of motivated me to keep going with that color method. And this really helped me when I was taking notes and when I wanted to review them for exams. Another thing with the notes, and this depends on what application you're using to take your notes, you can essentially have like a sticker that points out a specific section of the notes or maybe adds a little color theme. And you can sometimes, depending on the app, like again, you can actually create your own stickers like for a diagram or for a graph. I really wish this feature specifically came out earlier when I was uh, to using these apps for my notes because I would have saved me a ton of time, especially with all the diagrams I took. There have been actually quite a few comments too on the my previous video stating how you know, the iPad experience for taking notes was just so amazing. And a lot of people just wish they didn't hesitate and they went ahead and just purchased the iPad for school. And this is a really fair point because it, it honestly saves you so much time and so much hassle. And on top of that, it's always with you. It's either in the cloud where it's on your iPad. And you know, if you have an iPhone too, you can essentially access everything almost instantly on your iPhone with iCloud syncing in the background. And one of the best parts is that it can actually save you in so many ways. Like for example, for one of my classes, I forgot to bring a homework assignment, but because I did it on my iPad, I was able to actually just get it from Google Drive and print it out on the school computers and turn it in on time without affecting my grade. Whereas if I didn't have it and I left my notebook at home, I would have had to drive 40 minutes and 40 minutes back and been like an hour and a half late for class or missed it completely. So that type of thing can really save you. And if it saves your grade, I think that's something that's irreplaceable. Like you cannot kind of fix, like if you got to be in a class where you could have gotten an A because one or two assignments or something small like that, you can't really fix that. You can't really change that. But if you spend like $500 on an iPad, you can always make that money back at some other point. And not to mention Apple products usually have really good resale value. So even when you're spending $500, you can probably recoup most of that, you know, cost you put into the iPad. So overall, the investment will be completely worth it just for the notes aspect alone. One other important aspect is organization. And if you have a whole bunch of different notebooks right now that you're using for all your different classes for notes, that can get kind of clunky, that can get kind of messy, and it can sometimes be harder to keep track of. And like I mentioned previously, if you lose these notebooks, or if you want to access them, and you're you don't have those with you, you're kind of done for in that aspect. You don't have the ability to actually view it. But with the iPad, it doesn't matter 
as long as you have the syncing turned on, you can access those notes, those files, whatever it is from any computer, any phone, you'll have access to your notes and that could save you a lot of time. Not to mention that every single handout or pamphlet, you can just scan with your iPad and add it into these apps. Like for me, I had a project where we had to make a conceptual design of a hydrogen fuel cell power plant and the professor only gave one sheet and he said he's not gonna give any extras and that was basically showing the guidelines. But because I saved onto my iPad, I was one of the only people left in the class by the time the project was due that still had it. Organization will also be key when you want to refer back to your notes later on down the line because all of your documents and handouts and notes and exams, if you digitalize everything, then in 10 years when you want to refer back to it either for a job, when you want to review it and teach your kids something, you have access to it and you'll be able to find exactly what you're looking for without any hassle. Like for me, I'm trying to study for my engineering and training exam and I'm able to go back and refer back to a lot of my notes very easily because of how organized the digital notes have been and I really wish that I got the iPad a lot sooner. Now we all know when it comes to school it's not all work there's also play and with the iPad Pro or any iPad for that matter you can use the iPad to play games to watch you know all your different shows and it's a really great tool basically all in one to allow you to kind of de-stress a little bit and relax in between classes or right before an exam. It just it's a really great tool because you can go from studying and reading a textbook to watching a Netflix show or to playing you know like the my favorite game on the iPad pad is the NBA 2K21 Arcade Edition. You can go ahead and hop into that and bust out a controller and play in the cafeteria for a little bit and then go back to class. So no matter what, you're going to be fine with this um, in all aspects that come with like a student lifestyle. And I think it, it's just an incredible tool that will help you stay organized. It just really helped me when I was going through my classes, especially when things got tough and the stress and the tiredness that the semester kind of kicks in and you're more likely to lose different assignments. It just makes everything so much easier. Do you want to take a quick second to to mention something in this video. This is not sponsored, but I do have a newsletter out and it would mean a lot if you guys signed up for it down below. It'll be going out every Wednesday and hope to see you guys there. Now to fully answer the question, is the iPad Pro worth it for school? So it doesn't matter if you're a mechanical engineer like me, electrical, civil, chemical, any engineering major and any major in, in college pretty much, the iPad Pro is completely worth it because it'll give you the aspect of everything that I talked about in this video and it will just help you in your student life and it'll just make your life so much easier. But if you're wondering if you should buy the iPad over a laptop, then make sure you stick around for my next video because that's gonna be the next video, iPad versus laptop for engineering students and that one is going to be a more intense video because that's the video I get the most questions about on this channel. So if you found this video helpful, if you like this video and you want to help out the channel, sign up for the newsletter down below as well as also follow me on the social medias and subscribing to the channel and also liking the video so it pushes it out to more people and more engineering students can hopefully see this video and find some value in it. So until next time, don't forget to tech it easy with some tea and I'll see you guys next time.